word to Mizzy. It's me, I'm here in rare form. The last born first dominant, and I can't stay wrong. Stacey A. Cross here, there's no we in my name. Uh, beautiful day here, the day after Christmas. So, you know, most people are still sleeping. Uh, got the Christmas gift wrap still tuggled between their legs. I understand it. Um, you know, it's about to be 2019. Folks are already talking about getting, I got, I got my own, you know, journal, got a new journal. You always want to fresh something. So I get the idea of having that fresh thing and clean your house. Make sure all the dust buddies are out of there. You don't want to go into the new year with old, um, with old energy, like even old clothes you never used for the entire year. Get that out of there. Um, clean your damn house and do whatever it's going to have to take for you to get that new feeling. And that new feeling is very important, but you got to be consistent to continue that new feeling. So it's a, it's a constant decrease. It's a constant elimination. You're always eliminating. Um, how we are as humans where we have this elimination process where we put shit in our bodies, you know, in terms of food, nutrients, you know, or bad shit. We put it in our bodies and our body discovered a beautiful way to eliminate that and uh, take what it needs and throws away the rest. Now imagine if our body was just like ourselves in our house or in our mind and we clutter, we keep it so cluttered and noisy, you know, with the things that we don't need or the things that has become useless or rendered useless in our lives. So do like our bodies do, do like nature does and, and just eliminate the waste. When we talk about growth, we talk about actual elimination. We don't talk about increasing growth means to eliminate something, okay? That's the only way you're gonna have room so you can grow, so you can add something new there. So you can add either new knowledge, new wisdom, new mindset, new whatever, you know, new ways of being, behavior. Um, so that's what growth is. A lot of people got the game real fucked up when they talk about, man, I'm trying to grow and they keep adding on, they keep reading the new books. They gotta get this, they gotta get that, they add a new podcast and, you know, they added all of these things in and then come find out their, their brain is so foggy. On the Comfort Killers Colloquium, it's a call, it's a conference call where we're all specialists, we all uh, give our strengths, we all give our awareness, we all get the action together and collaborate. Uh, we speak about doubt and where doubt is coming from and people have a real hard time understanding why they can't concentrate, why they're not focused, why they don't feel like they have the desire, why they're confused and they end up staying stagnant and stuck. You know, they're in a rut and they don't know why. I'll tell you why, it's because the your goals are not bigger than the distractions, all right? And it doesn't matter if you have big goals, I get it, big goals, I get that. But the distraction at that moment, at that time, that you, you know, it's not bigger than what you gotta do. Social media is a distraction, okay? Movies coming out and I sat there, Christmas, we watched two movies. The whole time I'm like, man, I, 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 felt, I felt it like, oh God, I watched two movies. I get it, it's a time for everything, it's a time for family, you gotta be able to balance that out too, but I understand that when people say that they're distracted, um, they don't have focus, they're not driven enough, right? Uh, they feel like they're not built for it, it's because they gotta look at the distractions coming in and realize at that very moment, that distraction, it's overpowering them. It's easy for that distraction. It's easy to sit there and scroll for hours. It's easy to, you know, watch movies back to back or a whole Netflix series, The Orange, The New Black, or watch the game. It's easy. When you don't have anything other than that to reference or you don't have anything other than that to do, then the distraction is gonna win all the time. Uh, one thing that we do and pride ourselves in is in as being a comfort killer is being able to be so focused you know, laser beam, you know, like a laser. A laser is the sharp, the sh it's so sharp, man. I should have cut through paper, you know, sh cut through skin because it's so, po it's so, it, it, it thins out and it just, it's so direct. We want a laser beam focus when it comes to our, our, our life and when it comes to all this shit that we want to do. And I didn't put that on your list, you put that on your list. The other person didn't put that in your list, so you have no one to be upset about or upset to, upset to when it doesn't work out. You only got to look back at yourself and say, okay, what distractions played me this year? What distractions played my ass? And be honest with yourself, okay? And, um, and, and get real about that. Another thing is doubt. You know, we, we, we come up, we talk about doubt. And doubt is this thing that creeps in us, and, it, and we all have it, right? You, you feel it, you, um, 
you wake up every day, and I watched this kid the other, uh, the other night. She was probably two years old. And, man, she was just sitting there eating, eating her food off the plate. Little kid, little baby, okay? Thin, thin baby. When I said, when she darted, I asked her mom, I was like, could she, you know, could she walk? And she's like, man, this little girl's running. She darted, jumped up on something, jumped off of that, jumped up climbing. I'm like, man, there's no doubt there. There's no doubt if, uh, if she could make it. And if she doesn't make it and she falls and she has to crawl, it's, oh well, so what? But what happens as an adult or as somebody that's knowledgeable or somebody that's been there before is that somebody is placing doubt on you and you're placing it on yourself and you've accepted that. Now what I did to eliminate all doubt is to stop listening to people. It's to stop listening to me. Like, that's number one thing. Like, man, I know I can do it. Nobody can tell me I can't do it. And if you're telling me I can't do it, you have to be eliminated. You become an enemy of the state. You become an enemy of Stacey A. Cross. And I'm very serious with that. Anyone that places doubt upon me, anyone that thinks that, hey, you know, I tell them this thing, they're like, oh, there's 14 reasons why they couldn't do it. They're telling me that's doubt. And though you're allowing the doubt to creep in. So I understand that we're going to have doubt, but you have to look at the, the nature. Go back, let's go back to nature again. Let's look back at the babies, okay? Crawling, to toddling, to walking, to running, to jumping, to doing whatever it, it takes to get that toy. I saw this other thing on Instagram. It was a baby. The mom put, I mean, this baby was a brand new baby, man. This baby was a baby baby. On the bed, the baby saw the comb. The mom put the comb at the end of the bed. Right? The mom's playing with the baby now. Let me make sure that you could you could um you could see me because I feel like this damn thing. Alright, let's automatic let's focus here. Alright. I think, I think it's a little clear. So the she put the comb at the end of the bed. And the baby was over here at like the, the top of the bed. And the baby wanted that comb, man. Baby wanted that comb. Baby probably didn't even know. Don't know what that is, but I want that colorful thing at the end of the bed that you used. And I want it. That's mine. I'm going to get it. The baby couldn't even crawl really good. Okay? Started going, mm, saw it, and stretched, and moved, and grooved, and, mm, and did it again. Stretched, moved, grooved, and rolled, and stopped, and looked. And the mom saw that the baby was coming closer. So this is what the mom did. Tripped the baby. Put the comb even further away from the baby. Baby recognized what's happening. Mm. And ran for it again. Never stopped until she reached it. She touched the comb. It was her goal. She did it. She completed it. She made it happen. What's wrong with us? Why are we still talking doubt? Why are we still talking, oh, I gotta be this? Why are we still talking this baby shit? When babies ain't even talking baby shit.